it going? Happy Sunday. So here in Iowa, it has been snowing all day long. Um, other than that, today I have moved my shipping station from the basement to the barn. So I'm super excited about that. Um, working in a different spot. So you notice I have some little faux brick behind me. Um, I can tell that I'm not really loving the lighting here, but we'll just see how it goes. So we're just continuing to kind of test things out. Um, I will be having my lunch break sale this um, Tuesday in at noon for those of you who want to um, come watch that sale. And we're going to continue doing shipping on Friday. So anything that you purchase today, anything that you get Tuesday during the lunch sale or anything that you get on the website or just buy off of Facebook, all of that stuff will get bundled together and shipped out on Friday. So hi everybody. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. I'm also excited that comments are working and we really lucked out as well because, um, Facebook Live worked on my page and I didn't have to do a, a different method. Okay, so what I have grabbed are literally 10 knives that have different um, markings on them. I'm turning that one around because it has the letter H. Um, so all of these knives are different. These can be stamped. I know a lot of times people will use, use them for um, maybe marking, um, oh, like a, a pot or whatever. Um, and I've seen them just stuck in stuff or you could actually use them. So you're getting 10 knives. All of them are different handled like I just showed you. You could literally put these in a crock or a pitcher, have them out on display. I would probably put the handles up myself, but $20 for the 10 knives. Okay, then we have this little wooden um, plane propeller. It might have been off of like a yard um, windmill or something. I am not sure. I thought that it would look cute hanging on the wall, like in a little kid's room, or somebody who likes playing transportation. And it is $15. It's big, but it is very lightweight. It's about 22 inches long. So $15 on our little um, propeller, we're gonna call it. Okay, then we have a milk bottle, and this one has some murky on the inside. Um, I'm not saying that I'm the best uh, glass cleaner, but I did try to clean it. It has um, regular sealed, is marked one quart liquid, and then it says Duraglass on the bottom. And this uh, milk bottle is the quart bottle is five dollars so five dollars on the milk bottle then we have a one quart liquid oil can this one has some great patina to it um, it is farm fresh so there's still some grease in there and i'll wipe that out before i ship it but um the, this back side says nyc pa approved type something and then you've got a triangle down there at the bottom but you could totally repurpose this and put some plants in it you could clean it out one way to just make sure things are clean is just spray them with a clear coat um, but you could even set this on your kitchen counter and put wooden spo spoons in it um, and it is twenty dollars so twenty dollars on our little one quart um, oil can Oh, I'm shaking the table here. All right, so let's go back up here and I'll check my notes here. We've got Shelly wants the plane wing. And it just did weird. Uh, Jamie was first on the can. Shelly, you're second on that. And then I think I'm caught up. Okay, then I have a bunch of book covers. 
these um, I've sold them people do projects with them and I can't even remember what this one girl did with them um, it was super cute I want to say somehow she put succulents in it I don't know if that's if that's true or not um, but I'm sure you could look on Pinterest and come up with some different options on what you could do with these covers they are all intact um, there are 10 of them and they are five dollars so 10 book covers five dollars okay then we have i would say it's a candle holder but for easter here you could put your bunnies and your chicks on it to kind of raise the different height on your tablescape um, you could even probably set eggs in there because it is a little bit recessed so you could um, not have your eggs rolling off of the table or you could just use candles on it you could put this in the center of a wreath um, give yourself some greenery that way or I know I've been sharing with you quite a few times the um, yarn that I like to use so if you need the link for that I can get you a link for the yarn that I've been using that fray stuff $25 on our three um, pronged candle holder okay then we got something different these I'm pretty sure would have been off of like um, a washing machine and it does have a stamp on the inside two five I'm gonna say three six can't tell the number on that one so it looks like they all have the some like metal detailing on them they are farm fresh I scraped some major dirt off of them but this is you can see that middle piece there is kind of like a chunk of aluminum um, but nice big wheels these are screws are probably rusted to something or rusted but you could possibly get them loose and attach it to something you could even try some um, like liquid nails and put it on something you could hang them on the wall I don't know all the things that you could do with them but you've got three wheels here so it's probably a three-legged um, wash tub and they are $15 so $15 for the three wheels all right we've got Phyllis wants the book covers next up we have another piece of architectural salvage um, this one is just probably for a, a, a candle again um, again another good riser it almost looks like a pineapple which pineapples are supposed to be good luck um, but you could put your bunny or chick on it have it for a display it's what I'm calling is going to be the trend this year is just that raw wood no stain no sealer no clear coat nothing just some raw wood so $25 on this pineapple shaped piece of architectural salvage and it is nine and a half inches tall all right then we've got I only have two Ford hubcaps and these are also farm fresh so you can see the two there um, I think they're in the 50s if I am correct on that and maybe I shouldn't call them hubcaps wheel covers is probably the proper term for all the guys out there who are like saying those are not hubcaps um, $25 on the pair of wheel covers and get you a diameter here uh, looks like 15 inches diameter on our Ford wheel covers I've got a lot of rusty crusty kind of farm stuff today okay then we have um, a shotgun cartridges ammo box nitro club this is probably the side with the best graphics steel lined it's got the nice um, detailing here on how the box was put together this one has been sealed and it is $45 so $45 on your nitro club um, box 
So you could put this, really you could set this, I have something similar to this in my bathroom with just a Walmart bag inside of it. I use it as my trash can. You could hang this on the wall and use it as a shelf. Um, you could turn it over and use it as a riser. You could set it beside your um, couch even and use it to put your drinks on. So lots of options on any of the crates. Okay, so I've got another minnow bucket. This one has both compartments. So um, a lot of you were interested in that last minnow bucket that I had. This one is actually 25. Um, but if you don't want to just keep it in there, you can use this part as a bucket and hang it from a pulley on your porch with plants in it, roll up towels in it, and then you can use this um, part as well and repurpose it in some capacity by putting plants in it or um, just setting it out. You could even easily turn this into a light and all of the um, light would come through these holes and then down here like like a spotlight so you don't have to keep things together as they originally were so make sure we always are thinking outside of the box so $25 on the minnow bucket okay then we have this piece of ironstone you can see the stamp on the bottom. It's $75. It is in great condition. Um, the blue and white willow tree. There are, there are not markings on the inside like sometimes when I get them. And <clears throat> this one is going to be about six and three quarters inches tall. So $75 on our willow tree pitcher. All right, Shelly wants the bucket. Okay, then I got some more um, Scrabble tile holders. So these are um, just normal size Scrabble tile holders. $4 for the four. We've got some puzzle blocks. I have a ton of puzzle blocks, but to me, um, one, I find them all over the place, so they probably don't even match. And two, they look very intricate if you have no idea what you're putting together. And I feel like I'm a good puzzle person. Um, so I just decided to sell them separately. So one of the things that I did when I was doing the 25 days of Christmas, I used the blocks as um, a bottle brush, bottle brush tree base. Um, so you could totally repurpose these pretty easily. You could stencil letters on them and use them that way as well. But they are neat. Some of them have like poems on them and some of them are just pictures. So five blocks, five dollars. And if we have more people that are interested in them, like I said, I have more. This was um, a pedal tractor wheel um, that didn't stay on and I couldn't get it back on so I just um, had a couple of them and we just sold them separately. You could totally repurpose this into a wreath and hang it on your door. You could hang it on your wall. You could use it um, as a centerpiece and then put stuff in it around it to just um, accentuate it. So you got five dollars on our tire and it is about nine and a half inches in diameter on the outside. Okay, then we have a platter. This is an Ironstone um, J&G Meekin uh, platter for 40. And there aren't any chips or cracks or anything on it. So again, always good with the layering. Um, you could put this on like a bigger cutting board. You could put it on that Nitro Club uh, crate, get the dark, the light, and then you could do some green grass and your eggs and bunnies for spring. Um, you could serve food on it. You could do lots of things um, with this, but I love, love layering. Okay, then we have some DIY project that somebody probably made. This little chair, it has a terracotta um, pot in it with the tray. 
I don't necessarily think that they all matched. I just married them all together. So $10 on our little um, planter chair. Get you a height on the tallest part. It's gonna be about 10 inches tall on our wicker chair. All right, if somebody wanted the puzzle blocks, let me get a little closer since I can't see. Um, Bella's gonna get the Scrabble holders and blocks. Phyllis, you're next on the blocks and I'll just get some more. Susan, I'll get some more blocks. Katie, same thing. Robin wants the tractor tire. Shelly, you're next on that. The platter was 40. 40 on that. Okay, then we've got a pulley. And I have no idea what this piece is, but I'm pretty sure you can get it off the chain. I'm just not going to be able to do it. But um, So you've got this piece that is some kind of locking mechanism. You've got two different chains. And then you have this puzzle, or puzzle, uh, pulley system here. So you could totally add some twine um, and hang uh, a light from it. Lights are very popular to make out of pulleys. You could do, um, oh, hang a plant from it. You could just hang this on the wall as a piece of artwork, um, hang other farm tools from it, and it is $10, so $10 on the pulley. Yes, Charlotte, thanks for helping out. The platter was 40. Okay, then we have a collection of little bitty um, scissors. This one is a pretty old one. This one is a, my, probably the other one that's the oldest. And it's a special kind, I don't know. I think my eyebrow trimming uh, scissors are curved like that. So I don't know if that's intentional or if it just has bent over the years. This one is rusty, but I like the rusty look on it. And then this one has some pretty details on the handles and it's stamped USA. The USA is down here. And then the rest of these are just pretty normal. I'll have, you know, that one has a little bit different shape with the handles. This one is curved at the bottom. That one's a little bit longer, but they're pretty much just plain ones. This one says USA, this one says USA. So you're getting 11 um, little pairs of scissors. These you could totally hang on the wall with like uh, those clear thumbtacks and um, you know, make a whole little display, especially if you had white, or you could tie um, twine to each one and kind of string it like a, like a fish stringer um, to do that as a display. Or I just had them all bundled together in a candy dish. Um, so you could do that as well as a little cute display. So you're getting 11 pairs of scissors for $11. 11 scissors, $11. Okay, another piece of architectural salvage. This one has new paint on it and it does have like a, a base on it so it will actually stand up. But you could always hang it on the wall, put it over a door or a window, put it over a picture in a gallery wall. You got lots of options on how you can use this. Um, it is a little over eight inches tall and 16 and a half inches long and $25 on this piece of architectural salvage. Okay, then we have a scoop. Um, again, this would be perfect for laying on a kitchen table, um, dining room table, putting a bunch of chocolate eggs falling out of it or the rest of the year, the year you can do like Hershey's Kisses or something. Um, just an aluminum um, scoop and it is $25. So $25 on the aluminum scoop and it's about 11 inches long, 11 inches long on that. All right, we've got some more bingo cards. There's only like a few of the light colored ones. 
The rest of them are these darker ones. Gold metal, I don't know if that means like it would have came with the flower back in the day. I'm not really sure on that. Um, but you've got 31 bingo cards. And these guys are a little bit thinner than the bingo cards I had the other day. They're more like paper, less like cardstock. Um, so you've got 31 bingo cards for $4. $4 on the bingo. Okay, then we have some numbers. I'm guessing these would have been outside somehow because they are textured. And to me, that makes it so they'll shine with the light. And they are um, double-sided, so you got eight and one, six and one, and five and zero. And the five, you can see, it has a little bit of discoloration. Um, I would say these are some kind of tin. So you could embellish any like plain box or drawer. You can hammer these numbers on there. Um, you can just lean them up for different um, days or, um, you know, uh, birthdays or whatever. How many people you have in your family, all of those types of things. So we've got three of these, $6 on these three double-sided numbers. Okay, then this one is C.A. Wales, um, and it's actually stamped Centerville, Iowa. And it has Aunt Ellen, Aunt Liza, Margaret May, Margaret Mai is what it said. Oh, Margaret, my mother. So it's got some handwriting on the back. This one is Albany, Missouri. Henry Ellen Poster, no, Porter, James. We got Esther and Heist Johnson on this one, not related to me. And then this one is a group of ladies and the back doesn't say anything about um, their names or where this one was from. So you're getting one, two, three, and four for $10, $10 on the pictures. Okay. We've got, I gotta go back up here. Oh, let's see, Robin was first on the pulley, Myra, you're next. Shirley's first on the scissors, Debbie, you're next. Then Olga, then Charlotte, man, scissors were popular. Uh, Marsha's got the scoop, Phyllis has the bingo card. Susan, you're next on the bingo. And Susan has the numbers. Olga, you're next on the numbers. Oh, my finger just cranked. Okay, so we have another one of those um, elevator buckets. Although I feel like they have a different name. This one is a very large one. It has the holes, so it'll be easy to screw into a board or into your wall. Um, you can put your mail in it. You could have towels in it. You could do plants or herbs in it. Um, lots of different options on this. You could put it in the kids' room and let them throw some toys in it. It has been sealed. It does have some like rust on the bottom, but it has been sealed and it is $25. So $25 on the large um, elevator bucket. It's about 12 inches and then how it would hang on the wall is going to put you at like eight inches. So $25 on the elevator bucket. Okay, then we have a couple of sprinklers. This sprinkler I think would work. I have not tried it on the hose. Um, it looks like it would be copper, but this portion of it still is intact. So the copper sprinkler head is 15, and that is oh, four and three quarters across. And then this one is um, uh, Pasadena, California, USA, Thoros, I don't even know, T-H-E-I-R-O-S-S -S maybe is what it 
kind of says. You're probably not even going to be able to tell that. Um, Pasadena, California, USA. I don't know why it has all this texture stuff on it, um, but it does. This one would not work. This one would just be for looks because you can see how um, damaged the part that screws onto the hose is. But this one is also $15. So the Pasadena, California one or the copper one, and this one is four and a half inches across. <clears throat> okay, then we got a pair of dirty glasses. If nothing else, these are fun for um, Halloween, although they're bifocals, so they probably make you sick. Can you see the little circle bifocal part? Which circle seems weird. Normally I thought they were like rectangular straight across. Um, but these are nice also if you have like an office display or um, you know, a black and white theme, you can set these out on a book and add to your display, add them to a mannequin for something fun. $8 on the glasses. Okay, next up we have um, a rusty pan and it does have sealer on it. Um, Kyler was going to use this to make a fairy garden and then it never happened. So you could do something like that. You could put a wreath on it and then do your bunny and eggs. Um, you could set it the other way because the other way still looks nice. You could even use this as a lid over a milk can, even though it's bigger, but it could, you could glue it on and kind of give you a surface to set drinks and stuff. Maybe a plant um, out on your patio, but $3 on this rusted through um, pan and it's about 13 and a quarter inch in diameter. Okay, next up we have this pillow. Um, it has been, uh, I can't even think of what that's called right now. Not cross, is it cross stitched? Yeah, with the X's. And it's kind of like felt fabric. The edging is very cute. The coloring is the nice shabby chic and neutral. And $20 on this pillow. It does have a little bit of damage and I'll show you here. 18 by 13. Um, you can see right about there, there's like a little, um, I don't even know, moth hole probably. So $20 on the pillow. Okay, next up we have a rake head. This is a big one. You guys I'm sure have all seen where you can hang it like this on the wall and do your necklaces from it, do wine glasses from it. Um, you can even use this as a little ledge if you want to um, set something on it. So you've got lots of options on this um, rake head. And the rake head is about a little more than 15 inches across, and it is $6. $6 on the rusty rake head. Okay, next up I've got a bunch of blue boards. I'm selling them all together. Um, it's old paint. It was off of a cabinet, and I thought these were the perfect boards to make a little sign from. You could add a couple of little coat hooks to. You could even add um, some doorknobs or some old vintage poles to it. Um, you could leave the, the tongue on or you could cut it off. But all of these together, there's six of them. This one has like one section that doesn't have the paint on it. But you've got six of these boards for $30. Six blue boards for 30. Okay, then we've got a cute um, little couple here on their little plates. They have little nail holes or hangers, so they're ready to go. So we've got $8 on this uh, couple. 
All right, let's get caught up here. All right, Robin got the elevator bucket. Myra, you're next on the bucket. Um, Shirley wants the Pasadena sprinkler. Susan, are you just telling me that it's needlepoint or you want the needlepoint? Um, and Marsha wants the rake head. Okay, next up we have this metal piece of architectural salvage. Um, again, I think you could put it in a gallery wall. It'd be really easy to hang because you can just stick a nail there in the hole. Um, so that would be an option, but it's just a metal architectural piece. $25 on that. And here the bottom band is gonna be about 12 inches in diameter. So 12 inches on that. Okay, then we've got um, two ice picks that I'm gonna to sell together, the round handle and then the square one. $10 on the two ice picks. We've got a rusty, crusty um, truck here with a little bit of windshield damage. I have not clear coated it, but you totally could. Um, it's a Tonka. Again, great, plant your succulents in it, um, do something different. Um, put your Easter candy in it. Lots of different options on this guy. $35 on our Tonka truck. Okay, then we've got a few books. We've got this Victory. These are all um, music books. This It's a soft um, back praise hymnal. We've got Growing Glory, I think is what it says. But again, uh, music book. I love the patina on that one. Music and school song book. So you've got five books and they are $15. $15 for the five pen books or music books. Okay, something that you probably are not going to want your kids to have right now because they would probably kill each other. Mine would anyway. So that's why this is out at the barn. Um, I'm thinking this is just a wooden sparring uh, sword. There's some red tape down here and some black tape down here, but somebody has made this at some point. The round part is stained. I think it all has been sealed at some time because it has some kind of gloss on it. And you can see that it has battle wounds. So whether it was another sword or something else. Um, if nothing else, you could just hang this on the wall. That would be fun um, to just put in the man cave or kids room as well. So $25 on the sword, sparring sword. And you're looking at about 39 inches long. So 39 inches long on our weapon. All right, then we've got a craft uh, brick blended with American cheese box. It's got a little damage there and a little damage there on the bottom. It has been sealed. So you could put your mail in here. Um, you could turn it over and use it as a riser or a ledge. Um, you could put it in your windowsill and do some succulents, put some little terracotta pots in it and plant something. Um, that would even look cute. Do some terracotta pots with some moss and eggs uh, for your spring decor. $20 on our craft um, box. It's about 13 and 5 eighths um, inches long. Okay, next we have this beautiful Bible. It is Search the Scriptures. You can just kind of see that there um, in the middle. There are some pages that are loose, so even though the outside cover is intact, um, the inside pages are not all um, holding together. So I think you can see it on the camera. So I'm going to get to a page that we can see here. So you've got a few images in it, and then there's this tissue paper over it. The Holy Bible, Old and New Testaments, um, 
It's Philadelphia AJ Holman and Co. And it is 1893 um, is the copyright. So there are a few images. And that is a little note. Eighteen ninety nine. She drew her hand. Um, I was going to show you another picture, but so there's some death forms in the back and some different pages in the back. So this uh, search the scriptures is $65. So $65 on search the scriptures. All right. Marsha wants the rake head. Lisa wants the salvage tin, the metal piece. Yes. Okay. Shelly wants the ice picks. Julie wants the music book. Susan, you're next on the music. Charlotte after that. Ronell after that. So hymnals were popular. Renee's going to get the craft box. Okay, we got a few more things to go. Okay, so this is, I don't know. I think it's like a riveter maybe. Um, some kind of, it's stamped Rex on it. And then it says patent October 9th, 1900. Um... I don't feel like it's working completely correctly, but maybe it is because it's the spring part's not very good. But that could definitely look cute just sitting on a shelf. And it is $10. And it looks like you would have mounted it, um, screwed it in here um, so that you could do that and it not move. So at the highest, it's a little less than 13. So on the Rex, we're gonna say a riveter. I don't even know if I'm any, anywhere close to that. Next up, we have half of a piggy bank, or I'm guessing it's a bank. Um, you can't tell from right here that there would have been any notch, but it is a lion and it is cast iron and it is $25. And it's going to be about five and a quarter inches at the longest spot. Okay, then we have some old house numbers. This one could be a nine or a six. And it is metal. Same with this one and a zero. So a seven, a zero, and then a couple of nines or sixes. So you're getting four numbers and it's going to be eight dollars. Whoops. Four numbers, eight dollars. Okay, then we have a couple of um, glass uh, water feeders, bird feeders for the old cages. This one is stamped USA. I think actually this one is stamped USA. So they both have USA stamped there towards the bottom. They are different. You can see the pattern is different. And they are $8. So the pair is 16. So two feeders for 16. Now I think this is a little toothpick holder. You could repurpose it and put your cotton swabs in it. I probably use cotton swabs more than I use toothpicks, but you could do your toothpicks as well. And it's stamped on the bottom quadruple plate 348. And it is $10. And then we have this little sugar. Again, I think with a little plant or a succulent coming out of it or set one of the bird's nests on it with some eggs. Um, and then like I've said before, I do the toothpick flosser things and our cotton swabs are in, in uh, different ones like this. We've got Reed and Barton silver sold, soldered 
NR, NPR, I think is what it's initialed there at the bottom. Don't know how well you can see how well it's focusing, but 15 on the little silver sugar. And then we have another little child's mug. This one is not um, stamped with a name, but it does have a pattern on one side. And the edge is curved. There's a little bit of a dent there. And it's just kind of wait right here. It's just kind of wavy. So it must be kind of soft or it got really thrown around by some kid. Um, the bottom had something on it. Four eight is what it looks like to me, but I can't tell. But again, a succulent in it or store it for some of your small little bits and pieces. Um, this little cup is 15. We've got a little bitty scoop. I'm not sure what this would have been for unless it was just a toy one. So $3 on the little, probably aluminum scoop. Then we've got a couple of rusty crusty um, bird, bird pans, bread pans. This one you could easily hang up. Um, it's an ecology. Um, what else does it say? Silver. I can't even tell. Silver beauty. Silver beauty. It's easier to read the backside in reverse. But you could spray coat this and use it to store your mail, to store pens and pencils, colored pencils, sort out all of your kids' craft stuff. Um, so $10 on the two metal bread pans. Okay, let's get caught up here. Oh, I was right on the riveter. All right. All right, Shelly wants the riveter for belts, shoes, and pants. So heavy duty things. Um, Renee, tin holder for toothpicks. Julie, silver sugar. Shelly, you're next on the sugar. And Susan, the small scoop. Okay, the next thing that I have is a pennant. And this is out of um, music sheets and you can see that it says spring. And then there's a couple of empty ones on the end. And I just did it with stencils and paint. And it's just on a, a glued onto a twine. So you've got that one that is a, a all put together and then if I can spell then I did one in green in on just music sheets so you could thumbtack it to um, a wall and then have a spring display in front of it you could glue it to um, some twine and hang it like I did the other one. Um, anything that you could think of to utilize it in your display. So you're getting both spring things for $12. Both spring things for $12. And that is it for tonight. So um, just in case you're watching for the first time, I should have said this a long time ago, but I forgot. Um, what happens is I will invoice you tonight for your item. And then I will wait and invoice you for shipping on Friday morning. And then uh, once you get your shipping paid, then it'll get in the mail. Um, then if you purchase anything on Tuesday during the lunch break sale or off the website or off Facebook, then I'll put everything together into one package because a lot of times if you buy one thing, it costs $8 to ship where you could have bought three things and it still cost eight dollars to ship so um we're just doing some combined shipping that way if you need something immediately then just message me and say hey i need it and i'll ship it to you tomorrow um and then if you want to do local pickup you can do that as well i'm in centerville iowa um and yeah i think that that should pretty much cover everything all right, so Valerie wants the spring stuff. And Susan, you are second on that. Jennifer wants the truck and the washing machine wheels. So she must just be watching the replay. 
Okay, guys. Well, thank you. Have a good night and um, enjoy staying at home if you're staying at home. So see you, see you on Tuesday.